DSB laser protection device comprehensively protects the personal safety of the operators and avoid danger due to the rapid movements of the slider on the machine. The device consists of a laser transmitter and a receiver. This is the transmitter. There is a receiver at the other side. We can adjust the overall position in the vertical direction by adjusting this switch tightness. This is the laser positioner. The above lowest point of the laser beam should be aligned with the TX line, and the lower end of the beam should be aligned with one of the reference lines. The positioner shall be stuck between the punch and dies of the machine. We put the positioner close to the transmitter, and then observe the beam position on it. Loosen the four screws to slightly move the transmitter, so that the above lowest point of the beam can be aligned with the TX line. Set the position as the reference one. We use number 16 as the reference line this time. In practice, customer can choose the reference line arbitrarily, just make sure the laser is not blocked by punch or dies. Move the positioner slowly to the right side and stop near the receiver, then observe the beam. Once the beam position deviation is found, follow the above procedures to fine tune the transmitter and bring the beam back to the reference position we set. After confirming that the beam is also at the reference position near the receiver, and move the positioner to the transmitter end and observe the beam again. Repeat this action to ensure that the beam at both end is in the reference position, and then tighten the first screws on the transmitter to secure it. Twist this screw to fine tune the beam in vertical direction and align the low end of the beam with one of the reference lines. Then, adjust as above so that the beam meets the requirements. Observe the light leakage at the receiver from the OX part on the positioner. Loosen the screws above the receiver to adjust the light leakage position. Make sure the light leakage of the RX part is in the correct area. Remove the positioner and tighten the screws on the receiver. Confirm the value of the vertical position of the receiver. Vertical position can be adjusted by loosening the switch shown. Also adjust and observe the beam position of the transmitter. Move the beam so that the low end of it is aligned with the horizontal line at the receiver. After correctly adjustment, the green light at the receiver will light up, and the laser adjustment is all done. Set the on-off 1 key value to 0001, this is the M1 mode. The blue light of our area shall be off, the protection function in corresponding position will be closed. Under the M1, block laser in our area will not affect the normal operation of the device.
If we block the laser in other areas, the slider will press slowing with pedal switch. The pressing action will stop immediately if we block the laser in other areas while in normal operation. Set the on-off 1 key value to 0010, this is the box mode, the blue lights of our and F area shall be off, the protection function in corresponding position will be closed. Under the box mold, block laser in our and F area will not affect the normal operation of the device. If we block the laser in C area, the slider will press slowing with pedal switch. The pressing action will stop immediately if we block the laser in C area while in normal operation. Set the on-off 1 key value to 0011, at this time is the enter mode, the blue lights of our FNC areas are fully on, laser protection function is fully opened. Under the enter mold, if we block laser in any areas, the slider will press slowing with pedal switch, the pressing action will stop immediately if we block the laser in any areas while in normal operation. Set the on, off 1 key value to 0000, the protection function will be closed. When the laser protection function is turned off, the normal operation of the machine will not be affected when laser blocks. Parcel. Save time, money.